Hello everyone, my name is Brody and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are at home. It looks a little bit different. We've put a lick of paint on the walls. Uh, we've got rid of our old storage system and we have now have a drop chest here because we have this new super organized system of storage boxes. <laughs> It's nothing special, really. It's just boxes that have specific things in specific places. Um, it made me really happy actually doing this. It really fulfilled some kind of OCD need that I have. It was amazing. I genuinely enjoyed every moment of making this. Uh, but it is half past six on the morning of day 23. Uh, we've got this forge smelting down some iron. So we are going to restock our forged iron levels with that forge today forged iron levels with that forge yes that is the english language that i'm choosing to use and the plan for today we do have a skill point but we are saving that because we need two skill points to push either sexy t-rex or minus 69 up because it costs two points to go from five to six with your strength attribute that's a bit of a pain but it is what it is we will get it done we haven't got anything to sell to the traders but we are gonna pop to trader gens we've had a organize on the, the map as well with our uh, waypoints and stuff but we're gonna pop and see trader gen hopefully take a mission somewhere in the wasteland biome because what i want to do is pop and collect the resources that are in this drop box today and then hopefully we can also do a bit of looting as well potentially i don't know we've cleared this poi we've got these couple along this road as well so we could like make a beeline down here across do this place do this place pick up this stuff and then come back this way maybe or maybe go this way i don't know that's a vague plan of what we have anyway. We have some stuff in our inventory, uh, namely just our usual weapons, supplies, etc. Um, I need to pop to the horde base as well at some point because there is a load of stuff in a chest there that I'm not entirely sure what the quantities are, what the items are, etc. So I'd like to bring all that stuff back to the home base so that we can keep everything collectively together and we can just take it out as and when we need to. Um, but we are wearing our duster, which we have put a double pocket mod on so that our inventory is fully open again now. Now, the storage on the bike, I'm going to use that for housing my buffs, my clothing and some of my tools. Uh, repair kits I think that'll do I think that gives us enough open inventory space they can go in there as well I think that gives us enough open inventory space that we can do some good looting so we're going to make our way to Trader Jen we're going to see if she's got a mission down in the wasteland that we can potentially do if not we're just going to head there anyway and see if we can maybe choose a couple of POIs to, to loot and to murderize all the zombies in. I heard a wolf then. Not really that bothered about him. But we're going to get there. And then we'll see what the crack is after we know whether we can get a mission or not. Okay, here we are at the traders. Let's see if there's anything in the vending machine first of all. Yeah, that's restocked with loads of stuff. So we will top up on our buffs. Uh, take another oh shit drop, another health bar. Uh, we'll take the chicken ration because we can eat that. Everything else I'm not really that bothered about. Uh, let's eat the chicken ration so at least that that's gone. And then let's check Trader Jen's well, missions. You a sight for sore eyes. Hello. What can I get you? Uh, we need something south, southeast. Southeast, clear zombies. Oh, this is the best way to get. Oh, thank goodness! I couldn't find anyone to do that job. 
southeast, southeast. That'll work. That will work. Thank you very much, Jen. Right, let's put uh, the buffs, uh, the candies, the sweets, whatever you would like to call them, in the bike. Just so that they are out of the way. Not storage, just the bicycle, please. And then let's get down towards this mission and see what level two peer, tier two level two uh poi it actually is so here we are it would appear Oi, whoa, 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 whoa. it would appear that there's a coyote to greet us hello <laughs> So it would appear it's actually not in the wasteland biome this mission. It is in the desert biome. And apparently we're hot, even though we're wearing a duster, which is 22 heat resist. We are still hot. So I don't entirely understand how that mechanic works. That's cool. Church at the end of the road. Thanks, Lois. This is a cool place. This is like a Wild West town. Look. There's the gallows, the sheriff's office, the church. This is like a cowboy town. Or, you know, what I would imagine a cowboy town looked like, considering I'm British and have only ever been to a historical one in San Diego. But this is cool. Now, is this the POI? The saloon? Let's check it out. Yeah, it's got to be. Because you are one of the red dots that it is pointing to, old man cowboy. Right, he's down. Let's see who else is in this place. Let's check. We have, we do have our XP goggles on. That's a good time. No one hiding there. We didn't make any more iron arrows. So we have 14, 15 left. We really, really need to be a little bit more cautious with them. He says, as he just shoots. You asshole. Ah, oh, right. I'm infected. I don't have anything to deal with said infection. And my arm is sprained. And how do I deal with a sprain? Is it a bandage? Hmm. Interesting. How does one deal with a sprain? Summon your weapon handling, reload, and swing speeds. This will take some time to heal. Further critical hits may result in your arm being broken. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. And there's no way to treat it. This sucks. I already don't like this mission already. So we're going to be heading up to the roof. Maybe it's more than one building that is this POI. Maybe it's like a series of buildings. Oh, that's... Oh, hello. Hello, Steve. Whoa! Oh, Wilma's a feral. I'm actually getting ferals in missions now. Is that my game stage being at a certain level now that these jabronis are actually going to be showing up in my missions now? Oh my goodness. Right, a lot of resources for me to grab hold of at some point. Um, do I just drop in? Do I just drop in or is there somewhere else for me to go?
Oh, I don't like this whole being hot either. Big mama! Ah, that was a really stupid manoeuvre. That was a real stupid bit of parkour that I really didn't mean to do. Holy shit, I fell a long, long way. Luckily, I landed on a ledge or something there. That could have gone a hell of a lot worse. Dang. Okie dokie. So yeah, dropping down in the corner probably would have been the safer bet. Okay, no dudes up here. Let's work our way through. I'm guessing it's this way. Damn, this is uh, a bit treacherous. Hello? Oh, hello. Goodbye. See you later, Bo. Oh, did you see the ninja-like reflexes stabbing that bird in the face? Fucking devil chicken. All right. Hello? Yeah, I seen you. Oh, ah, I'm trapped on something. Oh. This isn't going to plan, my dudes. This is not going to plan. Where are you? Where's that noise coming from? Are you outside? You sound like you're at this door. Uh, let's just eat some eat some water and uh, drink some food. I realised that that was the wrong way around, but hey ho. Uh, should we should we help him? We'll give us a give ourselves a way out then as well. Oh, he's not even at the door. Dude. You're causing all that commotion. For no reason whatsoever. Uh, this looks like it could be the main stash. Easy, Edgar. Easy, Brittany. Who else is down here? Another Edgar. Oh, click. I can still hear jabronis. Oh, I still hear jabronis. Where are you? Hey, Brittany. Oh, that was lucky. I felt like I got stuck on something again. See you later, Wilma. Hey, hello, Arlene. Sweet moves, sweet moves. All right, I'm on the return to trader part of the mission anyway, so at least I think everybody is dead. I can still hear people. I can still hear jabronis. That just must be the way out. Okay. Let's find... Who's making that ruckus. Whoa, that sounded like it was close. Oh, hey, oh, there's a bow over there. Should we go get... Click. All right, should we go put Bo out of his misery? Oh, and another one. 
He can have one. He can have one. Oh. Got you with one shot, dude. Nice. Maybe we should invest some points into the pistol. I know we were planning on doing that anyway, but... Might be an idea to do that sooner rather than later. You know, maybe we can survive with... Minus 69er and sexual Tyrannosaurus being a point off max. Maybe. So what does it get us? You know why it hurt, but you're better than the average drifter. Craft quality two poor handguns, deal 10% more damage and 5% faster fire rate and 10% faster reload. Um, why not? We're using the pistol a little bit more, so let's let's bump that up a little bit. But I think that's it for this POI. I hope I remember to go back the right way and loot all the right stuff. Um, but for now, we'll just pop these crates open. That's not a crate. That's the crate. And we'll check out what this main stash is. So in the medical supplies, we have painkillers and a blood bag. In the reinforced chest, we have a marksman rifle, steel knuckles, stun baton, robotics parts, and ammo. Range damage 63. And what are you? Range damage. That's quite good. Even though it's a level one. Uh leg leg <laughs> leg lev armor, I was gonna say. Leather leg armor. Um, we'll just scrap you down. Check the Shamways box for some food and some water. Yucca juice, water, and polymer parts. Check the food as well. Let's eat the lamb rations. I think it was lamb rations. And scrap that down. Uh, we'll check the garbage while we're down here as well. So, not a great deal in the garbage. Okay. That is the main stash. That marksman rifle. Oh, that might come in handy. It's not worth selling. But it might come in handy. Put one of the scopes on it that we've got back home. Give it a bit of a bash. Um, There's obviously something here. I just noticed that. Search food pile. Uh, more beef rations. And some water as well okay so with that being that let's start collecting these resources and work our way back through the POI
Okay, I think that's it for this POI then, guys. We're just getting the uh, last set of chairs because, you know, free wood is good. As Cap says. But yeah, I think we are done. I think we are done. Excellent. So we'll scrap that down because we need the glue. We need to make some more repair kits at some point in the future. But I think we're good. We got a good little stash out of all of that. We uh, have learned some of the books that we've already that we already knew, uh, just because obviously they were repeats. But this is a new one, the magazine extender mod schematic. So we'll read that one. What else can we sort of discard, get rid of, chuck away? Let's have a look what space we have in the bike. We can stack you on you. Uh, we don't really need the paper. Don't really need the goldenrod seed. The iron spear. Oh, not really worth selling it for 14 dukes. Steel knuckles. Not really worth selling. I think that's about it. I think that is it. So hopefully, we can now make our way up to the drop box, which is north, and collect a load of the stuff that's in the drop box so we haven't got to worry about that one in the future. There's a graveyard obviously attached to the cemetery that we could potentially loot at some point. Uh, but we'll make our way to the drop box. We'll see what we can grab out of that, what we can discard. And uh, we'll check this car while we're here as well. You know, just because. A couple of little bits. But we'll get ourselves to the drop box. We'll pick up the stuff that we need. Uh, all the stuff that we can. And then we'll get our asses home. So we can drop it all off before we go and see Trader Gen. Right, we're at the drop box. But we've, we've picked up a friend. Hello, Crispy. You're alright, dude. Is there anything that's going to cure our infection? Because that is where we are going to struggle right now. We've got food that we can eat. And scrap that down. Um, pick up everything that will stack, first of all. Don't need the zombie brains. Short iron pipes we can take. Although we can craft plant fibers we don't need. We will we'll take everything else. Everything else. I'll take the coffee. Everything else is disposable. I think we'll use the golden rub tea as well. Uh, we'll eat the yucca fruit just because we can. And we'll eat also eat the potato because we can. Nothing else is going to stack. So we'll... Destroy the box, and hopefully that will get rid of everything that's in it. And that should despawn in the world now as well. Okie dokie. Right, let's get ourselves home. We'll delete you as well first. Let's get ourselves home. I think it's this way. Uh, it is one of the ways. Okay. Chicken! Chicken! Catching you on a bite with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't pick your meat up, can we? Oh no, we can pick the meat up. We can't pick the feathers up. Okay, I can... I can deal with that. Hey, Crispy. Goodbye, Crispy. Feather. Okay, cool. Right. Let's get ourselves home, drop all this shit off, and then we'll go back and see Trader Gen. And here we are. We are back home. Okay. What well, did I put inside the bike? I can't remember. Uh, glass jars. That will stack on the glass jars that I have here. Uh, everything else. Everything else can stay in there for now. So, let's go clear our inventory with our new uh, organizing system. Okay, 
Although I've got a new way of organizing stuff, it appeared to take longer. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know how that came about, but yeah, it seemed to take longer to put all the stuff away. So now let's check on how we are doing. It's still crafting stuff, but it has run out of fuel. So let's top that off. Uh, 20 minutes should be enough. We'll turn that on so that, can, can, yeah, 13 minutes. There you go. Cool. So we'll take the iron arrowheads and we are also going to take a load of feathers because I believe we need some more iron arrows. Ah, 100. Perfect. They can craft in our inventory and we'll drop the feathers back into our resources box. So let's quickly grab the buffs that we have out of here. So we have school crushers, eye candy, health bar, and the oh shit drops and uh, jailbreakers. We'll take one of the oh shit drops actually. We'll just leave it with one in there. Cool, cool. We'll drop them off in the buffs chest. One, two, three, four. And with it being eight o'clock, we I don't think we're really going to have enough time to get to Jens. Um, but we are going to put our pedals, not just the pedal, our pedals to the metal, or, you know, in the circular motion that operates a bicycle, and see if we can get there before she closes at 10 o'clock. Cash this mission in and see if she's got anything worth buying because I can't remember what she restocked with on day 22. Uh, I don't think it was a lot, but the plan after that, after we've been to see Jen, is we're going to head to the Horde based. Stupid Ansel Adams. Uh, we're going to head to the Horde base and load our inventory with the stuff that's in the chest there so that we can go home and add that to our supplies, our collection. Supplies is probably the better word, but we're almost at Trader Gens, but I'll see you there. Okay, we're at Trader Gens. It's nearly 8.40, 2040, if you go by the 24 hour clock. So and let's cash this mission in. The best prices in the wasteland. Um, okay, let's take the leather boots. Are they any better than what we have? I'll tell you, we can check that later. Let's have a look at if you her inventory and her there, jobs. I'll buy it off you for a discount. Okay, so let's take the clear zombies to the northeast because that's going to be near our house somewhere. somewhere. Oh, thank goodness. I couldn't find anyone to do that job. Yeah, it's in our town. That's awesome. And then if we have a look at her inventory... I couldn't remember if there was anything worth buying, but if she's got some honey or antibiotics, that would be uh, uh, great because my infection was at 5.2 when I had my my honey. So, drink, drunk and disorderly challenge. Painkillers. Okay, might be worth grabbing the painkillers. Uh, nine Milano. It's expensive. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at the secret stash. Motorcycle handlebars. Six thousand. Oh, it's going to wipe us out. It's going to wipe us out, but if it puts us instead of getting a motorcycle, it could be worth it. Let's do it. Let's do it. brighten my day. Awesome. Thanks, Jen. Appreciate that. Let's check you. You're, you've not changed since this morning. I'm not entirely sure how often they change or how often they restock or whatever. But we're done with Trader Gen now. It's almost 10 o'clock. Let's get ourselves back to the Horde base so that we can uh, load up our inventory with all the resources and supplies that we have from there. Okay, we're at the Horde base. As you can see, I still haven't made the repairs from the Day 21 Horde Night. I'll do that at some point before Day 28, but at the moment, it's not 
high on my priority list. So, um, let's just take everything. Let's just take everything. Do we have anything for... We do have some antibiotics. Okay. We'll see if... We can sort out any of the things like herbal antibiotics or honey uh, before the infection gets too bad. If it gets above 5%. Five, five if it gets a... Well... Well, well, well. Uh, take. Oh. Oh, no. My bicycle's stuck. Oh, no. Uh, oh, did I repair it? Yeah, with the repair kit. I repaired 1% by wasting a repair kit. Oh. This is not turned out too well, guys. This has not turned out too well. Okay, what can we do? Paper. And take. Okay. Now, put the bicycle back down. Yay! Now we can get home. Okay. <laughs> what a ball like that was. Here we are. Home sweet home. Okay, let's arrange and drop off all the bits and pieces that we need to so medical wise buffs wise no I need they were part of my inventory gosh dang it you were not however That's everything taken care of and sorted. So, the one thing I want to check out is the armor. So, what do we have there? We've got the leather boots, which are level three. We are currently wearing padded boots that are level three. So, the leather boots are plus one on the armor rating over the padded boots but they're obviously higher in the noise factor lower in mobility and they drain more stamina do they look any better oh no they look really chunky it's like you're wearing a pair of ugg boots um okay okay they are full though Whereas our current boots are not. But we could just repair these boots, right? With a repair kit. Excellent. Now let's do the same. Well, I'm not going to bother with the level 2 armor, but we will bother with the level 4 chest plate. I need to keep a better eye on that because obviously they were at zero. I didn't realise that they were at zero. So, um, you know what? Screw it. We'll do the level twos until we, and then we've got them until we find something better. Okay, and then we can scrap you. Okay, so we now need to make more repair kits. Uh, that will be a task for us overnight. Uh, resources. We'll chuck the leather in there. Now, I'm going to head back to the Horde base this evening because one of the things that I want to do is I want to start digging out the ground inside the Horde base and start going underground. 
my goodness, this boy today. Um, and start going underground so that we can make a bit of a mine. Uh, so that we can harvest some stone, harvest some ore, should we find some. But more importantly, so I want to put a room underneath this base. So that I can actually have some storage here and it not interfere with what's going on on Horde Nights. Um, I think... I think that's the better option because one of the things I also want to do is build some kind of funnel system, like a kill corridor, so that the zombies all come from one direction. I don't know. I'm still kind of up in the air about what I want to do with this base. I know I want to repair what's broken. I know I want to get everything up to concrete. But other than that, I'm still a little bit clueless. I'm going to have to have a think. But for now, guys, we're going to dig a hole. And I'm going to do that off camera because it's going to be really fucking boring for you. So, we'll end the episode here. And know that I'm going to dig my way down. And maybe put in a floor to this place here as well. Uh, but that will be in between episodes, like I said. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, thank you for all of your support. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.